Hello LEGO DC Superhero fans, I'm back and today I have the brand new LEGO Superheroes Man of Steel sets. Now this is set number 76009, it is ages 6 through 12, Superman Black Zero Escape, 168 pieces. This set costs $20, you can buy it at Walmart depending on where you are, and it comes with three minifigures. So let's take a look at this manual here. It is your typical small one. You see that. Very cool. Not a lot of pages. Didn't take very long to build, depending on your skill. Um, it should take you, you know, no time at all. And it does come with your average um, comic book in this line. Now, if you don't want to see any spoilers, I would skip this section. Um, just skip a few seconds, but I will open it up and show you guys. Um, it pretty much just shows Smallville being attacked. If you guys didn't know, Smallville is the home of Superman, uh, Clark Kent, and it obviously shows like the roles of the sets throughout um, the movie. Now, these aren't always accurate. We've seen that tons of times before, but, you know, might as well show you guys that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and look at these awesome three minifigures. Okay, so the first minifigure I'm going to show you from the set is the Man of Steel himself. Now, if you're wondering why he's called the Man of Steel, it's kind of like Batman. Batman's called the Dark Knight. Superman's called the Man of Steel. So, there's your DC fun fact of the day. Uh, he has the iconic S on his um, chest, which, if you guys did not know, it does not mean Superman in his eyes. It means hope um, on his planet, which is gone. <laughs> um, he has this really cool... Where the torso moves down to the legs, which is very cool. And he has a nice cape. And you can tell down by the, underneath the neck, you can see where the cape attaches to the front of the torso, which is really cool. And he has the nice pecs. An overall cool, awesome looking figure. Now I have him in his laser beam shooting mode. He does have a double sided head. So, um, you turn him around and he just has a regular Superman face, which I believe is the same face as Alex Luthor. Um, so, that's that. And then he also has back printing. So, oops, whoops. So we'll show that, back printing. And there's his shoulder blades, and then more, you know, detail, like the front. So yeah, that is the Man of Steel. So here is Lois Lane. Now, I really am enjoying this minifigure, because this is, you know, the only Lois Lane that LEGO has made. Probably the only Lois Lane that LEGO will ever make. So she's obviously a editor at the Daily Bugle, which is where um, Clark Kent works. That is Superman's, you know, secret identity, I guess. <laughs> she has nice blue pants, and then her front torso has a nice, you know, little suit jacket up there with the button up, and then underneath that has another white shirt and, um, you know, the peach skin, or the flesh skin. She has nice white sleeves, and it's kind of like a light gray to white, which is very cool. Now her face kind of has like the old marks, you know, kind of like Black Widow does. Um, so, and then if you could tell, she kind of has like the little mole right above her lip. And then she also has um, very nice eyebrows, which match the reddish hair. So let's move her to the back so you could see her, the back of her head. Take that off. And then she also has the scared face, which I think every Lego female figure is obligated to have a scared face, which it seems like that's actually true, because if you look at almost every single female minifigure, they have a scared face, which is kind of funny. Um, so yeah, this is the awesome Lois Lane. Okay, so I saved the best for last, um, in my opinion, for this set, General Zod. Now as you can tell, there's some similarities between General Zod and Superman, torso-wise. We kind of have the same pec, the same belt, Different symbol and, you know, going down to the leg printing, which is very cool. Um, his symbol is not an S. I actually don't know what that is. It doesn't look like a Z. It looks like a backwards C. So, um, I don't know about that. He has a nice dark gray hand. We move, and then you can see this brand new gun. Now, I love this gun a lot more than, um, you know, the guns that they normally put in these sets. So, very nice to have a different, you know, sort of thing there. Now, if we move... We can see his face, which he has a nice goatee going on there. And yeah, so he comes with this really cool armor, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, so here's General Zod in his amazing military armor. Now, I have not seen the movie, so I don't really know what this is from. I don't, 
I haven't seen any connections with the comic books, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Nonetheless, it is very cool. The nice details on that between the light gray and the dark gray, you know, metallic chrome there, is really cool. So it's awesome to see this kind of custom pieces from Lego, which we don't see that often in minifigures, so it's very awesome to see it in this. So um, it, the helmet is awesome, really cool. It has kind of like eyes looking there, and then it has a breathing kind of thing. So it makes the minifigure very tall, I'll just say that. And the shoulder blades go to the back, and you can see the back of the helmet has, you know, more design and, you know, curve appeal, which is very, very awesome. Now I'm going to take off the helmet on him for you to see his eyes or his double-sided head, which is, if you guys did not know, General Zod has the same sort of superpowers as Superman to an extent, so that's why he has, you know, he can shoot laser beams out of his eyes, which is making me believe that they are the same descent. Um, so, again, we'll have to wait and see on that. So this is the awesome General Zod. Let's get on with the set now. Okay, so let's get on to the set itself. Now, um, this, from my understanding from looking at the comic book, is we're on this big spaceship, and this is, you know, inside the spaceship, this little docking area, and then this is the escape pod, which Lois Lane shoots out of, which is shown on the box and everything. So that's from my understanding. So let's look at the um, escape pod itself. Now it's overall a neat design. All this stuff is stickers. We don't really see printed pieces anymore, which is a little bit unfortunate, but you know, what can you do? Right down here we have the awesome guns that everyone loves, which I was talking about earlier. Now I'm okay with the guns being right here, but um, on minifigures they just don't really work out. So there's another sticker, we move to the back and we have the jet, like the exhaust jet engines for the back of the escape pod, which are really cool. Lego put these nice pieces back there to simulate, you know, obviously like green flames coming out of it. So that, it looks really neat if you want to look, yeah, really cool. And it has like the steering wheel piece down there, very, very, you know, appealing to the eye. And we can see more stickers, so this thing has four stickers on it. And let's move down the cockpit there, move down into like the little area where the people can sit. Let's get that focus there. And then you can easily take a minifigure and then place his or him or her in there. And then she's like, help me. So yeah, let's blast her off to Earth and show you guys a little docking station. Now this docking station is pretty cool. I like it. It has a little fence area gate for kind of like the walkway. I'm a guessing so it's like you walk and then the, it goes right here and then they walk into that so that's pretty cool and then here we have something that's actually really cool it's actually a sliding door so um, you know if Superman says like open sesame he can fly in and save Lois but I'm pretty sure he just busts through the wall <laughs> and then if we move in closer we can see obviously my reflection hi <laughs> you can see the stickers on each side there um, so that's pretty cool and then on here we have the neat little computer screen that will focus a little neat computer screen right here which is obviously a sticker and then right here we have the defense mechanism which is also really cool as well has a nice rounded pieces there and then the little flick firing stuff to fire that so let's just get another look at that and then show you how this works now, it's a really neat mechanism, actually, you know, you just pulled this back, it's pretty much like a catapult. So, um, let's launch this back here. You just pull back and launch. So that's a cool, I love how LEGO's starting to put more use into their flick fire missiles, as in, like, you know, different functions to launch them, rather than just flick them with your finger. So, that's what I think, you know, LEGO's starting to, you know, progress and get better with that. So, that's awesome. So yeah, that is the end of this review. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I love these sets. Uh, I really can't wait to get the rest of them. Now, if you would please leave a like. It really does go a long way and it helps me out. Keeps me going and um, helps me feed my dog. No, I'm kidding. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please also comment down below and then check out my other videos I have. Thank you to all of you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.